Welcome to this short training video on how to create a manual journal entry in NetSuite. This video is presented to you by Business Solution Partners. Today I'll show you how to select a subsidiary, currency, and posting period for your journal entry. I'll show you how to add transaction lines for GL accounts, amounts, memos, and other fields you may need for your transaction. I'll show you how to set up the journal entry photo reversal if this is an option you want to activate. I'll show you how to memorize a journal entry, which is very useful for recurring transactions. And finally, once a transaction is posted in NetSuite, I'll show you how to search for it in the financial statements. To process a manual journal entry in NetSuite, go to Transactions, scroll down to Financial, and go over to Make Journal Entries. This will bring you to the journal form. If you use this form on a regular basis, you can save it as a favorite on the, the little star here next to home. If you go to add to shortcut, you can create a shortcut for this form, rename it anything you want. And when you are ready to book another journal entry, you can just go to the little star and your shortcut will be here. I'm going to change this form to be the standard journal entry form. So if in case you're familiar, with that one, your screen may look like this. So we have my journal entry number. I'm going to select my subsidiary now, which is HQ. And the currency for this subsidiary changes to USD. But if you have multi-currency activated in your system and the entry is to be booked in something other than USD, you can select the drop down and select the currency that you want to use and when you do that the exchange rate is actually auto populated by the system. I want to book this transaction as of January 31st, 2017. And you can see that my posting period changes to January. You can add a memo to the journal entry. So this uh, January January 2017 legal fees. This is my accrual for legal fees for the month of January. Some of these fields uh, may be customized and you may not have the same. Um, I will start adding lines to my journal entry and I'm going to start with the first debit to my entry which is going to be the legal fees expenses or expense accounts and I'm going to debit this one by $3,000 and this is going to be for the first legal firm that I expect to receive a bill for which is going to be legal fees for ABC and this is going to be January 2017. I'm going to add a second line and I'm going to book another accrual that I expect from another uh, legal, legal firm and this is going to be for $2,000 and it's going to be legal fees for XYZ and it's also for January. The next line I'm going to add is my liability account. So I am booking this to accrued expenses. I knew the account number for the, for the legal fees but for the accrued expenses I don't know my number. So I'm going to start typing accrued expenses and see if I have an account called accrued expenses and I do so you can select it and if you tap over the system will auto calculate the credit amount for this transaction and I'm going to use just a generic uh, description here since I have two companies legal, legal fees for January 2017. At this point I could save this transaction and the journal entry will be posted to my income statements and balance sheet. But I want to show you some options that you have for your journal entry before you save it. If you want to set this entry up as a, an auto reversal entry, you could select a reversal date here. So for example, if I wanted this to reverse in February, I just click February and it would post a reversal entry in February automatically. Another option is for you to memorize this transaction. So if you want to 
book this accrual on a monthly basis, you could select under actions here, you could select memorize. Now, you cannot have an auto reversal transaction memorized. So you will have to decide which one um, to, you want to choose. If it's something that you book on a regular basis and you prefer to just manually reverse, you can then choose to memorize it. If you prefer to book your entries each time you know you have to accrue them, then don't memorize them and you can set them up as auto reversing if they do reverse the following month. So I'm going to show you what happens if you try to memorize this auto reversing transaction. I get an error that says that memorization of journal entries with auto reversing uh, entries is not currently supported. So I'm going to say okay to this and I'm going to remove the auto reversing just to show you the screen of the memorization entries. So let's remove the auto reversing date and let's go back to memorize or memorize. I want to show you what the screen looks like. I will not go into details um, in this area because we will have a video on how to memorize transactions in that suite. So you can find that video separately. But I wanted to show you that this is where you come to memorize this transaction and you can select automatic versus not versus remind me. You can select the posting date, how many periods you want the memorized transaction to post for. So I'm going to get out of here because I don't want to memorize this transaction at this point. So it's telling me that changes I made will not be saved and that's okay. So I'm back to my original uh, journal entry form and I want to save this transaction as created with no reversal date and not memorization. So we click save. It says that I have submitted this form or you'd like to submit again. I don't believe I submitted it before and even if I did, it's okay to resubmit. So I'm going to say okay. And my journal entry is now posted. I want to show you how to find your journal entry uh, in two different ways. So let me just go to the home screen. So if you come back here the next day and you're trying to find your journal entry, you can start typing your journal entry number here. And I remember that it was 433 and it's journal entry 433, it's right here. So I'm going to select that one. And this is the journal entry that, that we just posted. That's the one way to find your journal entries if you know the number, but if you don't remember the number, you can go to reports. If you remember the, the accounts that you use, go to reports, down to financial and then you can find the income statement. And since we posted this transaction in January, I want to change my period to January and refresh this report. And if I go to legal, I remember that this um, I posted my transaction in, on January 31st, 2017, and I vaguely remember that my transaction was 433, and I definitely remember that we posted a transaction for $5,000. So you can click on the 5,000 and you can see the breakdown of this journal entry. And that's the journal entry that you posted yesterday. You can do this also from the balance sheet side. If you go to the balance sheet and you look at your accrued expense account, you can click on the activity and find your journal entry that way. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or form number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation.
visit us at bscny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.